Okay, we're gonna make a really easy but beautiful pubo right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is take, because I'm using um, ribbon that has silver sparkles, I'm gonna use my silver bodabra bow wire, fold it in half, and lay it down into the bodabra and just kind of tuck it under. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm using three different ribbons. So I'm gonna take my, my um, ribbon and fold it in half, take the middle and just scrunch that down into the bodabra. So that's my bottom um, layer of my tail. And then my second ribbon is a satin um, with really a pretty pearl um, edge and I'll measure it in half and lay that down into my bow dabra. And then I have another tool that again I'm going to fold in half and I'm going to just lay that down into my bow dabra. So those are my tails. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my tool and because the sparkly side is the good side, I'm going to just put it a little bit in here and twist it because I want the right side up. So I'm gonna fold it and twist. And these, it's probably hard to see a little bit on my white tablecloth, but I'm making the loops approximately um, eight inches. So you could use a ruler, but I just eye it because a hand tied bow is never perfect. So it doesn't really matter and nobody is going to notice except you if you're a perfectionist, which I'm not. I like things to be look like they're handmade, which means that they can't be perfect. So I just fold my, my ribbon or my tool, twist it and put it down into the bow dabra and fold and twist, put it in the bow dabra and the same thing, twist and then my last one just scrunched out. So I've got about four um, bows on each side. Then I'm gonna take my satin and this is the right side. So I'm going to twist it and put that down into my bow dabra. I'm going to fold it back, twist it, lay it into the bow dabra. And I'm going to continue to do this. And I mean, I'm using traditional white ribbon for this pubo, but you can do it in any color that you like. Um, and so we're just going to fold and twist. Now if you're making a lot, because obviously for pubos you need a lot, you're, all you have to do is just, and on the last one I don't twist because I want the right side up. So I'll just scrunch that down. And I'm going to take my wand and scrunch everything down. And like I said, when you're making a lot of pubos, you want, and again I'm going to put this in with the right side up, twist it so now the wrong side is on the inside of my loop, fold it, twist, and push. Um, what I was going to say is that if you're making a lot of pubos, what I recommend is cutting all of the ribbon first so then when you make the bows it's very simple because you've got all of your ribbon cut and it's just much quicker to do it that way. So fold and twist, and then the last one I'm not gonna twist. I'm just gonna push that down, take my bodabra wand, and scrunch everything down into the bodabra. Then I, now you could put silks or flowers in the middle here, but I've chosen to just make this one very simple. So now I'll take the ends, open up my loop, pull the two pieces of my wire through the loop, hold the bow down in the bow dabra, pull it really tight. This way when I pull it out of the bow dabra, all I need to do is separate my ends, think, <laughs> pull it tight again, bring it around to the back, tie a knot, and double knot it. 
And now if you need what, this is great for just fluff it out, but for attaching to anything with your wire. But if you like, you can always um, add a floral pick to put it depending on the pews to attach it. 